Happy Earth Day! It's Miss Lewis. How are you? It's finally here. Today is Earth Day. And we've been talking a lot about the Earth, the sky, and the planets, and how we can take care of this beautiful Earth that we live on. Somebody came by to visit me today. <gasps> it's Ada! Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Don't forget to recycle. <gasps> Ada came by today to remind me how important it is for me to always recycle. Don't only recycle on Earth Day, we should recycle all the time. I made myself a little note right here so that I don't forget to recycle Ada when we're done talking. So I'm gonna put it right here. Now, what are you looking for anyway if you're recycling at home? Well, it's a sign like this. This is the recycle sign. And these words are, please recycle. Please recycle. So it's very important for us to recycle. What are some things at your house that probably has this recycle sign and you haven't found it yet. Well, I have, for example, this box of cereal. I love these Cheerios, they're so yummy. But when I'm done eating all the cereal, I can recycle this box. How do I know? Well, if you look at the bottom, right here, it's super tiny, but it's there, the recycle sign. So I need to recycle this box of cereal now that I'm done. What else do I have? I have lots of bottle, empty bottles of water. If you look right here on the back, there's a recycle sign right there. It's small, but it's your job to be sort of like an investigator or a detective looking for these little recycle signs so that you can recycle what needs to be recycled. What else do I have? <sighs> I have this box of Oreo cookies and Chips Ahoy cookies and Nutter Butters. There was so many cookies in here, but we're done. There are no more cookies anymore. But should we, recyc should we recycle this box? Definitely, because there's a recycle sign right here on the front, okay? So, with all these things that you have that you can recycle, let's say you'd like to make something new. So it's something old and you're going to make it into something new. What's something that you can make at home? Well, I have this glass bottle. If you listen closely, you can hear that's made of glass. This is also something that needs to be recycled. Um, on this bottle, there were these stickers and in order to make, what we're going to make is a, sort of like a flower globe, okay? Like a flower glitter globe. And it's something you can make at home. You can make it for mom, you can make it for dad, you can make it for whoever you want. You can make it for yourself. Um, but how do we do that? How do we make it? Well, first I had to peel the stickers off. These stickers and all this plastic that was on it, I had to peel it all off. Um, you might need to get a little help. It wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy, so I really had to take my time to peel it off. And then also wash it. Once you're done, you have this bottle here. And then you have, I have some glitter and I have some plastic leaves that I have at home. And I also have flowers right here. And you'll also need some water. Now, don't pour out the coffee. Just make sure that, it, that mom or dad already drank it and they were gonna recycle it and then you want to use it. Um, first, what you're gonna do is 
gonna pour some glitter in there. Pour, pour. There you go. I happen to have some silver glitter, but you can use whatever color glitter you have at home. I'm gonna pour some in here. I don't know if you can see it. Put plenty of glitter down there. And then I'm gonna add my leaves. And then I'm gonna put my flowers in here, my plastic flowers. I'm gonna put it all the way in there. And then I'm gonna carefully pour the water in here. Now, to do this part, if you can do it by yourself, great. But if you can get mom or dad to help you, even better. That way we don't have to worry about making a mess. So I'm gonna pour it in here. Pour, 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 pour. That's it. Oh man, it's already looking so pretty. I'll put the top on. And there you have it. There. Make sure the top is on real good. Look, you have a flower globe. See? Once it starts to settle, like this one that Miss Lewis already made, you can see the flowers and you can see the leaves in there all pretty. And then once you shake it, shake it, shake it, and turn it upside down, you get all this pretty glitter all around the flowers and the leaves. So this is something really cool that you can make at home. Now, if you don't have a glass bottle like mine, you can always use a water bottle. It's the same thing. It's gonna have the same effect. It's still gonna be super pretty. Now, what else do I have? I have some paper. I have some old paper that I drew on. I drew on the front and the back. And instead of throwing it away, I want to make something new with it. Or instead of recycling it, I should say, not throwing it away because you can recycle the paper. I'm gonna make something new. Earlier, I made these binoculars. I think some of you guys remember me making the binoculars when we went on our safari at school. And I said that during Earth Day or during this unit, I would teach you how to make these binoculars. And since we're not together at school, I'm gonna show you on this video. So these are toilet paper rolls and I have a paper towel roll here. What you can do, um, I have glue right here. I'm gonna put the water away. You might need some help, but I have some scissors and I'm going to cut this in half. Now, if you don't want to cut the paper towel roll in half, you can make this into a telescope, which is still pretty awesome. You would decorate it with the paper and then you'd be able to use the telescope to go outside and look at the stars or to look at the um, birds in the trees, whichever you prefer. But I'm going to make binoculars like these, like the ones that I already have. So I'm gonna cut it in the middle. Just like that. And if they're uneven, you see how they're not even? I can fix it, it's no big deal. You can cut a little bit off. It would be good to get some help from mom and dad with the cutting part. Look at that, perfect. Now, I'm gonna get some glue and I'm gonna put the glue here on the side. Just like that, see? And I'm gonna put them together. Look at that, already stuck, nice and together, all right? And then I have this paper here that I drew on. It has some scribbles or whatever. So instead of recycling it, I wanna reuse it. So I'm gonna get some tape. And I'm gonna tape it around, around my binoculars so that it'll be nice and pretty. I got some tape and I'm taping it right here. Mm 
boom, there you go. You've got binoculars. Now at home, if you have um, some string, kind of like the string that I put around these binoculars, you can use the string to tape it on the sides and then you'd be able to put it around your neck as you go outside to look up in the trees and see what's going on. Um, but if you don't have a string, you can use ribbon, you can use whatever you have at home. But if you don't have any of those things, it's not extremely, it's not really necessary. You can always just go out with your binoculars in your hand like this and just look out. Or you can look out your window too. Um, so these are a couple of the fun things that I thought that I could make at home during Earth Day. Um, I made this globe and I made these binoculars. So I would love to see what fun and cool stuff that you guys make at home. There are so many recyclable things that you have at your house. You can put those things together to make something very cool, to make a fun new thing of whatever your imagination brings to you. So I want you to do that. I want you to take your time, use your imagination, make whatever you want. And I can't wait to see the cool stuff that you guys come up with. So, like I said before, happy Earth Day. And I can't wait to see the stuff that you guys make. I miss you guys, I love you guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, all right? Bye.